Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Let's continue exploring the Three Valleys. Okay, so last time we got about there, and then I think there's a treasure around this area. It's not marked on the map or anything, though, so we'll see where it is exactly. Okay, so with the dual horn here, set their horn on fire, might as well set my my sword on fire while we're at it Thanks. and try to break off some more of those horns oh you got here pretty quickly how did you know the fire came from this direction whoop getting a little uh, rambunctious there Noctis if I can ever actually reach the horn I would like to break it off ow <laughs> I like how whenever you cast fire on an enemy, they uh, they get charred a bit. Unfortunately, this does not pre-cook the dual horn steaks. Ah, uh, okay, that that works. I don't think I got the AP kill there, though. It's not extraordinarily important at this point. Hey, is there something over here? I don't think so. I mean, this world map is just so huge. It's hard to know where everything is in the game. Okay, so around here. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I uh, pinpointed it that accurately. Whoa! Let's see. I was wondering if maybe I carried the buff here from the previous battle. But, uh, nope, nope. Because it, it does last for quite a while, actually. Uh, oh, I was like, wh where am I getting a parry from? Well, at least I blocked the one. But, oh, ow. Okay, we can uh, wait a little while. I think I'll try setting them on fire a bit. These guys got so much HP that... Oh, I... Don't have any spell charges left for fire there. Okay. But yeah, these guys got so much HP that I don't have to worry about, like, killing them with fire or, well, any spell, really. So I can soften them up a little bit without, you know, taking away an AP kill or something. But uh, let's see. So if you wanted to, you could throw in various ingredients to the spell. Like, you could get different effects, like dual cast. It would cast the spell, well, twice. But I don't want to do that here, because I would rather save my stuff for selling and all that. So, really, all I want to get out of this is a little bit of damage and some AP out of it. So, I'm just going to go with a vanilla spell for now. There we go. And then, let's see, yeah, let's get that back on. I don't think I'm going to be using one-handed swords in the near future. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we use fire somewhere where my party members are not? So that way I don't set them on fire in the process. What are you uh, flailing around like that for, dude? Whoa. Uh, for some reason I couldn't seem to get it in attack there. Well, we can finish them off like that. And then, yeah, get a little more AP going here. Yeah, these guys are everywhere around this area. Hmm, can't seem to get behind the guy. Okay, we can do this the hard way then. Just stick that spear right up the ass there. There you go. I mean, where else are you going to stick it? Whoa! Be a little careful there. Yeah, yeah, you're you're the one with the camera there. You got a pretty big camera there. I mean, compared to like a, I don't know, a cell phone or something. And yes, got the MP back there. Give you that. Nice. It's always very satisfying to finish a battle like that. 
But, uh, okay, we're good to go there. Let's see. Let's get another one up here. As long as we're in the area, might as well see what we can get. And one thing I notice about recording this game, it kind of feels like a, a live stream or something. Because the episodes are so long. And I can pretty much take what I can, what the game gives me, really. I don't have to worry about every single little nitpicking thing. I don't know that I'd want to do this all the time, or even more often than not, but... But it's a new experience for me, in a way. And some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, uh, what, what are you going to do with the DLC episodes? And I do plan on going through all of them. There's the four character episodes. But I'm going to do that after I'm done with, like, the post-game content of the game. Let's see. Over here, we got another parking spot. If... Oh, okay. I guess the game already showed it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you got... Uh, what is that? Yeah, a parking spot here that you can warp to later. You think that motel makes any money? i never seen any. What motel? Yeah, they make their money off tour groups headed for long wire. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, on the map, there's uh, Long Wife Peak, this huge mountain in the middle of the area there. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's see, there is a haven up there. How are we looking on time? Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of time. Let's see. I want to get over to the Three Valleys over there. If I can stop flailing around my weapons like a drunk. There you go. I don't think there's any treasures between here and there. Was there something over there? I thought I saw something. No, just my imagination. Never mind. But, uh, well, maybe I'll find a treasure that I didn't know about. The game's just so huge. But I can take care of these guys first. I would not use spells on Saber Tusks because they got so little HP that uh, I would never... Right. Uh, what is it? I would never be able to use a spell without killing them in the process, which kind of negates the point there. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to be sticking with fire because the those... Uh, what are they? The dual horns are weak to it. And most of the other enemies, I would probably one-shot with a spell at this point anyway. Let's see. Where where are we? Oh, there we are. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, even more of these guys. If I can target any of them? That was weird. Seemed to not be able to get a target lock for a bit. And are, do we got any warp points? Warp point. Or I could just kill you that way. That works, too. Well, yeah. You live in the desert. What did you expect? Yeah, I didn't have time to get the warp kill. And... Uh, what is it? Snapshot off in time. But, well, that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, let's see if we can find a way into these valleys here. Not to mention, get my MP restored. Would be nice if I had a, a place where I could take cover or something, but it's kind of arbitrary where the game lets you do that or not. Let's move. Hmm. Okay, I want to be careful there because these guys are going to move around pretty quickly. Yep, I missed it. Oh, warp point. There we go. And, okay, yeah, get a snapshot going there. I oftentimes like to use snapshot after warp striking an enemy. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, I missed quite a bit of AP there, but how are we doing there? Oh, we're almost up to what I want to get for uh, warp factor. That'll really help us out a lot. Let's go. Indeed. But, uh, well, we'll get there soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Okay, so... Let's see. I can't just go straight into there. I can't, like, climb the mountains here. I gotta, well, find an entrance here. 
Anything else? I think we're right by the farm where we got that emerald bracelet. I don't know how the emerald bracelet increases damage with my guns. But it does. Or anything that boosts <laughs> strength, really. Color's amazing. Okay, and here I Did think we're going to have anybody? a lot of enemies to uh, kill here. Mostly Saber Tusks at the start. But I'll see what we can do. And there's going to be some flying enemies around here, too. Whoa! I was going to try and warp strike there instead of parry, but... Can I warp point? There we go. Okay, what are we dealing with here? So, I like to... In this battle, because we have... Uh, so many warp points and all that around here. I usually like to get like one uh, do a point warp like every other or every two attacks or so. Okay, so how many of the other guys do we got? I think we got most if not all of the Saber Tusks there. So now, let's get Enhancement going so that we can take out the new enemy, Dagger Quills. They're weak to firearms, fire, and... Uh, what was it? Daggers. Though melee weapons are not going to be too extraordinary against them. Because, as you can see, they move around pretty quickly here. Yeah, I can't even hit them. So, I would only try to Warp Strike them if you're... Uh, what is that? If they're just kind of hovering there in the air. They're just kind of hovering in place. But usually most of my AP kills will be the result of... Uh, what is it? A parry and a counterattack against these guys. But uh, let's see. I got to get their attention first. And... Saw that one coming. Whoop. Okay, that didn't work. Sometimes I'll take, like, one shot at them. Just to kind of get their attention. Though I don't seem to be doing a very good job of that. It took me three warp strikes just to get one of them to connect. Holy cow. Okay, slow down there, partner. Ha-ha! Gotcha. Might as well see what we can do with the snapshot. Now, while you're fighting the dagger quills, you can get a dagger quill breast drop. That's a, an ingredient for food, but I'm going to need it for a side quest later on. So, let me see if I can aggro them a little bit without killing them. Or we could just keep on snapping shots. Why not? Oh, my buff is worn off. These guys are not strong against ice. So I'm not worried. I'm just using the Kakaitis. So that I can, well, take advantage of the attack power over the handgun. And obviously take advantage of their weakness to firearms in general. But, uh, okay. Well, we killed the parents. Now we're going to take their newborn eggs. That's great. Great job, guys. Okay, and here we get a really good weapon. The Blade of Brenner, Brenneri, I don't know. But anyway, it is a great sword that is fire elemental, which would be obscenely good against Mesmeneers there, and it has way more attack power. The reason why I bought the two war swords, though, even though we find this one, is because there's quite a few enemies that are strong against fire, so, I want to be able to have a non-elemental weapon available, of which the War Sword is the best one that we've got right now. But okay, let's see. Around here, we got a good harvest point, and there's going to be some other treasures that we can find. So, let's see what we got. Any uh, dual tusks around here? I don't think so. Yeah, might as well grab that stuff. And get another ability on the Ascension Grid there. Warp Factor 2. Okay, so the next thing I want to try and get are some MP reduction 
uh, abilities there, so that way I'll have more MP available for you know, performing warp strikes and all that, so I'm not wasting it on phasing as much as oh. I already do. So anything that helps out your MP supply is really, really good. And there's another ability that I want to get eventually. Where is it? The, yeah, Super Stalker. But that one is a little bit pricey at this point. So I'll get that one eventually. But, uh, okay, so we got that. And I think there's like a, a house or some ruins in the area. There it is. Okay. I could really use a bath. Indeed. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do. Okay, around here... I think it's around here. Oh, there it is. Oh. Well, I found what I was looking for, but got interrupted here. Okay, let's see. There you go. Okay, so you see on the ground there, there's a little piece of paper. Really could do with a bath for hygiene's sake. How? You could probably use one too. I don't want to know, but I do want to get a new side quest here. It's like a a treasure map, you reckon? Oh, hmm. wouldn't that be sweet? Are we searching for it? It's a hidden treasure map. So yes. Yeah, I mean, you haven't played this JRPG before, have you, Ignis? Okay, so let's see. One more treasure that I want to get, and then we'll head on over to the Haven there. There we go. Yeah, one thing you could do with magic, since it does have, uh, especially the higher tiers, they have a pretty uh, wide AoE. You could use it to deal with large groups of enemies, but I generally don't like using that in that way. It takes away from the AP that I could otherwise get from, like, warp kills and stuff. Well, I thought I saw an enemy. This wasn't what I was thinking, but we'll go with it. Sometimes when I'm fighting enemies in close range, I'll do, like, a dodge roll with the square button while I'm moving there, and... Just to give myself a little more distance with a warp strike, so I'm not trying to hit them at point blank range. But, uh, okay, so for the next stuff that I want to do, I'm just thinking if I want to craft a ice or, well, blizzard or thunder spell there. Because, I mean, there are some pretty tough enemies that are weak to either or. I think I'll just leave it alone for now because I'm not going to find them in the very near future anyway. I thought I had a, a hunt against an enemy that was weak to a different element. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, why don't we go with ice then? I thought those guys would be weak to something else, but uh, no, no. So yeah, let's just get this going right now and take advantage of the energy deposit there. So yeah, early on, I don't really feel the need to use components to enhance my spells, but I will be taking great advantage of that later on. Just that right now, we the enemies are pretty weak, and I don't really have that much to enhance my spells anyway. Okay, so we got that. Let's see... Okay. Oh, yeah, there's some abilities that I want to get. Let's get Light Phase. So that way, yeah, I'll lose, use less MP when I'm dodging attacks there. Okay, I think that'll be good for now. It's kind of early, isn't it? Nah, it's cool. It's not that early. It's going to be nighttime in a few hours anyway. And I'd rather not fight enemies at night time okay so yeah with all those dual horn steaks we got yeah we got the recipe from them and i i need some more laden peppers but for now i think i'm just gonna stick with the oh you know we are about to fight or getting close to fighting the boss coming up here 
yeah, why not go with that one then? It gives us a little more strength than the other, or the previous recipe there. So, and it's still a favorite food of Pronto there. So we can get even more AP from Snapshot there. Okay, that's more like it. Well, let's see what this happened. pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Hmm, doesn't seem any special to me. That's boss. Come now, it's nothing special. Okay, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Whoa! You're on fire! I'm everywhere. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, just keep on taking pictures while I'm getting impaled and launched into the air. Oh, that's a really good one. I like that one. I just like going through the pictures. It's like, oh yeah, I remember doing that. Not bad. And you could use a bath there too, Ignis, indeed. Oh, hey, there's Carbuncle there. I think that's Carbuncle by the rock there. So, yeah, every now and then you'll get something like that. Where there'll be something in the background that you didn't see that was there at the time or they'll just insert something into I would hate to try and pull picture. off a road trip like this in some old jalopy. Oh yeah. That would definitely cramp my style. We can't live like kings, but we can travel like them. Hmm. <laughs> I'd have been cool with a plain old car. Why is that? Not into the princess procession thing. Oh. You want to lay low. Don't see why the car would be an issue. You managed mm. to keep a low profile in the back seat. <laughs> Isn't it about time you made some headlines? Rather be in the obituaries. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy. Okay, let me see. Did I get one of those? Yeah, there we go. Dagger. Oh, I got a lot of dagger quill breaths. Okay, I wasn't sure about that one. But uh, okay, so we got all that stuff going. Let's get a new ability here. Blink. So the nice thing about the blink ability is that it lets me phase through some uh, attacks that I otherwise would not be able to. It, you still can't phase through everything, but I find it helps a bit with that. There's some other abilities that could be mildly interesting, though I don't think I ever use them. But uh, let's see. Oh, well, there you go. I think you only get like five mp back from that something really small like that but uh well i might reconsider these abilities but for now blink is the big one and then i want to go for ultralight phase huh. okay so let's get back to exploring then let's see i know there's uh let's see a food spot right over there let's go check that one out and then we'll head to the well, not right away, but eventually we will head to the northeast. To the valley where we can find that Bloodhorn or whatever was going on. No use hanging around here. Indeed. And one thing about uh, using magic that I was just thinking of. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. Huh. I, I, I must have been looking at the wrong thing. But that's okay. We can go over here too. But yeah, like, uh, different elements of magic will have different effects depending on, like, the terrain. So, like, in a desert-type terrain, fire magic will deal more damage. Yeah, you see how I kind of phased there? That was, a uh, Blink in action. And we got any more? Oh, wow. Quite a few more. What they're up against. Well, yeah. They're wild animals. What did you expect? See, I might not be able to get that last... Oh, I was going to say the last... Saber Tusk, but... uh, Yeah, let me uh, get some distance here. So... Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, man. And I wasted even more MP. Can I... Uh, I was trying to use the warp point, but I think I was too close to it to uh, 
to use it, but that's okay. We got a nice square looking rack that we can use to, for cover. Yeah, it seems like the objects that you can use for cover to restore your HP and MP, it seems like the more square shaped they are, the more likely it is to be something that you can use for cover. But if it's like a more realistically shaped rack, then chances are, no, probably not. Okay, so let's see. I know there's treasure around here. Let's uh, check that one out. How are we doing on AP? Hmm, pretty nice. I think I need 32 for ultralight phase. Somewhere around there. Yep, there's the treasure, but... Nuts. Okay, find something else. Or you could counterattack against the wrong enemy. Why not? Yeah, let me try and kill the other one. Did I get them all? Okay, good, good. And on we go. Indeed. Right. Hmm, not getting very many of those debased coins there. How are we looking? Hmm, yeah, a little light on those, but, uh, well, I'm not going to need them for a while anyway. But, uh, sooner or later we'll get there. Okay, so let's go right over there. Yeah, I love all these map points you can place around the place. It makes routing a lot easier for me. Especially when I know where I want to go exactly. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Hmm, well, we got some enemies there. Hmm. If I don't find this thing, like a treasure, fairly quickly, then I could just skip it. That might just be like a little mark uh, of the terrain for like that little rock there. Yeah, that's probably it. It looked like a treasure to me, but uh, not quite. Okay, so Mesmineers, Blade of Brenner. Ha ha! One shot the horn. Nice. Okay, get a little farther away here. Gotcha. Okay, so... I would like to warp strike these guys as far away from me as possible to greatly increase the chance that I can break off some more horns there. Same to you. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I already got fire. I think enhancement does boost your attack power a little bit, though, even if you uh, don't have a elemental weakness to exploit. And now they're going into pissy boss mode altogether. I could just nuke all of them. But I'd rather get more AP. But, uh, okay. Give that another try. Gotcha. Did I get two of them? I think I broke two of them. Huh. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm out of MP here. Let's, uh, yeah, get a little Snapchat going there. Yeah, unfortunately, in the wide open, we don't really have much in the way of, uh, warp strike, er, warp points. Okay, I want to try and blindside this guy if I can. Or just go right after the horn. Or not. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the treasure. It's a little off there. I, I knew that was there. Okay, so now let's go to the west. Any rocks around here? Hmm. You want to watch where you're going? You want to watch where you're going, big guy? I would pay real money for DLC that would get rid of just the running into your partner's dialogue. It gets old very fast. But, oh well. We'll see what we can do. Same thing with swapping weapons. That'll do it too. Like, if you hold out your sword, like, when you're not in combat or something, they'll be like, Hey, what's where you're sticking that thing? Something like that. Okay, but yeah... There's a warp point around here. Now, I could, like, remove 
like the voice acting, I could just mute all that and get rid of the subtitles. But that removes everything, not just the bumping into each other dialogue. Let's see, I don't think there's anything around here for us to find. Okay, I think there's something by the barn, maybe? I forget if it's on top of this thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Next one. I'm going to go up to about here, but I'm not going to go any farther north until I have other business there. I mean, hey, I'm, I like going out of my way to find good treasure, but I'm only willing to go so far for that. Eventually, I will do everything. But, yeah, I don't want to be walking around everywhere forever. Uh, hmm. Could have sworn I uh, pressed the button totally. for the stamina, but anyway. You could jump around while you're waiting for your stamina to refill, so you move, I think, slightly faster. Okay, so... Hmm. Looks like there's something like right next to the side of the road, but I can't seem to find it. Well, if I find it, great. If not, then I'll... Move on, eventually. Oh, I think this is actually much further up. Now that I look at that again. Or maybe... No, it's in the building there. That's it. Yeah, usually if you see a building that's open, there's probably treasure in there. You get the hang of it after playing the game long enough, knowing where the game will put treasures. Not even just from, like, a map, just... You know, playing the game, you know, where the designers wanted to put stuff like that. Is there another treasure over there? I didn't have something here on my map. Mm, nope, nope, there's nothing there. Okay. It, it looked like there was a sparkle there or something. Man, I'm really messing up my stamina here. Let's uh, try that one again. And yeah, we got more abandoned buildings or ruins or... Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so around here, a lot of times when they have billboards like that and stuff, there's treasure in the area. Let's see, I think it's in the house, though. There you go. Ooh, a base coin. Nice. Let's see, AP almost got enough for ultralight phase. Very nice. Let's see, there's a few treasures around here let's see what we got i know there's a a treasure spot ah there it is yeah let's go for that one first but i'm not gonna go too much farther north than this but uh let's see with this one yeah that sells for pretty good money might as well hold on to it and then around the side of the road i know there's something over here there it is And then I think there's one on the north side of the path there. Like right around, probably in the building over there. There are some side quests in the area around here. But sometimes they have prerequisites. Like that, uh, what is it? The, the broken car quest where I gave the guy the repair kit. Like sometimes those quests will require you to do other side quests to unlock them. So like, I know there's a, a broken car quest around this area. A dreary day. Yeah. But I think it's not available until Chapter 3. So, like, sometimes a side quest being available has another quest as a prerequisite, or sometimes they'll just require you to be in a certain chapter or to have advanced the plot sufficiently in order to get all that. But, uh, okay. Yeah, we can get some more peppers. They don't sell for very, or they don't cost very much to buy. But I do want to get what I can as long as I'm in the area. Okay, so... See, I know there's another treasure around there. 
and then we'll see what we got. Showtime. Or we can fight some more enemies. Dual tusks? Yep, dual tusks. Let's get our uh, fire going here. I want to save one fire spell for the Bloodhorn. I don't think I'm targeting the tusk there. Hmm, I don't know why I can't target it. But uh, let me. Maybe I can get a little closer. Maybe their horn is already broken off. I don't know. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's get uh, Enhancement going. I could use the Blade of Brenner instead of this, but I'd rather use the Javelin. Okay, yeah, this guy, I don't know why I can't uh, target their horn. I guess this guy's not very horny, huh? Hornless! Hornless! There you go. Maybe get a little MP back while I'm here. I forget if I can have the treasure here yet or not. I don't think I did, but I don't... Oh, there it is. Wow, okay. Now we're getting our debased coin collection up to par. That's more like it. Yeah, the game is really streaky when it comes to things like that. Where you'll get some pretty quickly, but then other times you'll... It'll take forever to get more of them. Okay, so around here we got... I think there's a food spot in the area. Let's see, can I get in there from here? No, no. Gotta find another way into this Northwest Valley to uh, get to the Bloodhorn eventually. But uh, I'm going to go, let's see, I think, yeah, I could go in from here somewhere. But I'm going to enter this place from the southeast. There's some treasure in the area. And there's some other stuff I want to pick up back up north there eventually once I'm done with this place. Okay, we got that. I know there's a mineral deposit in the area, but I'm not precisely sure. Yep, you know what that sound means, viewers? We're getting close. Onward. But let's, uh... I keep on hearing noises in the background, but no enemies. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else around here. Oh, there is a treasure around here, I think. Okay, let's see. I think this one is about there somewhere in the area i think it's outside the valley okay. though that's it right huh that's a dual horn yes but not your run of the mill breed we'd best make quick work of it okay so we got that one hmm let's keep on going to the east there's another food spot in the area oh man they're really gonna make me uh run around for this one huh I don't want to stay too close to the valley there in the event that I find some other enemies. But, uh, hmm, I'm surprised there's no enemies around here. Usually there would be. Or at least something. Nope, nothing around here. Okay, then let's go into the valley as soon as you guys get out of my way. Thank you. Okay, but there is a food spot around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. It's already on the map. Just, just found it. But yeah, whenever you get to an area that has like a mineral deposit or a food spot, it'll show up on your map once you found it on the mini map there. So you don't have to be like in very close proximity. But close enough. Okay, so for this part, yeah, let's get fire ready to go there. But otherwise, this guy's basically the same thing as a dual horn. Wait a sec. 
Man, that's why they call it a bloodhorn. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! How hard could it possibly be? Enter! Not very. Nice one. It's not over yet. Let's see, I wanna spread out here. For boss time! I wanna see if I can get a fire spell on this guy soon. But uh yeah, for some reason you notice that prompt there. For some reason that gives you three tech points right off the bat there. So I wanna try and put it to a little use. And this one's a little strange. There'll be a st strategy prompt like mid battle, which is almost unheard of. But they want or they want uh, Gladio to use his technique. Okay, there we go. So yeah, Tempest. Let's go with that. It's not really uh, that good against this guy, other than being a technique. But uh. It doesn't exploit like a weakness or something. Oh yeah. But all right, easy enough. Maybe I didn't even need that enhancement there. Hello. Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks My cell phone's on fire. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while well, I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. What do you mean? Didn't you say you just fixed it? I don't know what this is about. Kind of strange. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. But okay, well we can go with that too. Okay. Let's see. So yeah, we got that going. Let's get ultralight phase. That'll really help us out with our MP needs. And okay, so the next skills that I want to get. Let's see. So we got, yeah, I want to get road running since we've got the car fixed and we'll be able to uh, generate some AP. Next behind the wheel. Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. Hmm. I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room and back. Well, yeah, that is true. But, uh, okay, so, there's one more treasure around this valley. And then I want to head up north a little bit. There's a couple side quests that we can do as long as we're in the area. Oop. Okay, so, yeah, there it is. So that's why I didn't buy the Avengers daggers earlier, because we just find them here. I generally don't use daggers of any kind for Noctis because they can't initiate link strikes. But uh, let's see. I'm going to remove Tempest there from Gladio because I don't plan on using it in the near future. And I don't want to accidentally you waste uh, a tech point on that. But, uh, okay, so, got all that stuff going there. Let's see, so, there's a haven up to the north as well that I would like to check out. And, yeah, we'll just head on over there then, get one more rest before heading out. I don't think there's any other treasures around here, but I'll, I'll see what I've got. But let's see, from here, oh yeah, that's a pretty long walk there but we'll get there unfortunately we cannot just warp back to the car at this point you can only warp back to rest points which really isn't useful for us right now let's see i think there's some yeah there they are dual horns in the area didn't get a chance to use my fire spell yeah but oh well we'll get a chance now I didn't want to use it on the Bloodhorn and risk oh, killing it too soon. Okay, so right about there. Let's get in a little closer range. There we go. Okay, and then, yeah, first shot. We can get enhancement going right away. 
That's another reason why I like, uh... Uh, what is it? First shot lets me buff up before we start uh, getting into the thick of things. Okay, got that. Whoa! Didn't even get a prompt on that one. But, okay. I would like to be able to kill one of these guys. Is someone attacking me or not? I keep on getting these prompts, but nothing's happening. Wish these guys would spread out a little bit. But uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, so there we go. Okay, yeah, let's see if I can break that horn. Is someone coming after me? There you go. Ha-ha! I love the sound effect the uh, Link Strike does every now and then. Where you uh, break off something or do something significant. And the sound effect's just like... Dude! Like shutting down or something. It makes it sound like it really hurts. Which it does. Whoop! Oh, wow. I'm surprised we... Killed the guy that quickly, but we can go with this. Whoa. Yeah, they can't impale me while I'm... Uh... Are you going to attack me or not? Ah, they... No, I guess not. Okay. I was waiting for the parry to come, but no. Oh, wow. Did I just break two horns at once? I think I did. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, you killed one? What other one? Hmm. That was weird. So yeah, you see there, with that uh, Link Strike, I wasn't even facing the enemy. All you gotta do is just get straight behind them and attack, and sometimes that'll be enough to uh, start the Link Strike there. Warp Strike seem to have a pretty good chance of causing, uh, or breaking an appendage or something there. These regular dual horns, their horns don't, I mean, they sell for decent money, but there are others that are better, like the level 23 ones. Sometimes, if you get a warp strike from a sufficient distance, you'll be able to knock them over. So every now and then... Whoa! I almost left the combat area. That would have been bad. I'm starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. Evidently. But, uh, okay, so we got all those. Yeah, let's keep on heading up to the Haven there. So we'll grab this one, and then we'll start heading back to uh, Hammerhead there. There's also a couple quests that we can pick up on the way back, so we'll see what we can do with those. I don't think there's very many treasures in this area. Like, the whole Weaver Wild area here, there's... I mean, you'd think, a wide open area, lots of rocks, there'd be plenty of treasures to find, but, uh... No, apparently not. At least not that I can tell. Okay, we can do that, too. Is it just the two of you? Well, maybe I can get the warp strike in time? Nope. Oh, well. Well, at least I still got the AP from... What was that other one? The snapshot there. So, break even either way. But, uh, okay. Yeah, by the way, all havens on the overworld, they're basically like this. It's virtually identical every time where it's just like a nice flat area there that helps protect us from monsters okay so we got ice right yeah okay yeah let's get a little more of that there is an ability that you can get in the astral sphere that will we're here i was it increase the amount of uh, elemental energy close. you get each time, but I don't think that's really necessary. 
Especially once we get some other things going. Okay, I don't think... It, oh yeah, I am going to fight an enemy. I was about to say, I don't think I'm going to fight anything tough in the near future. But uh, no, we got that hunt coming up here. Not today, but uh, soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Okay, so let's see with Ignis. Well, let's uh, do what we need to do here. Hey, hey, all right. There we go. So yeah, we, uh, we also got. Oh. Dude, what's with your face? Hey, who said you could take this? I don't know what the point of that is, but okay. I thought Ignis gained a cooking level there to unlock another recipe. Hmm. These bastards were a pain. No, not really. I could one shot the or well, whatever that was. Where was that one anyway? Looking at the map there, I thought that was just saber tusks, or maybe there was a dual horn. It's kind of hard to tell. But in any case, and the sand everywhere. You got any cool moves? You always getting those ass shots. Stylish as always. Come now, it's nothing special. Eh, prompto. Man, all those guys. I see him everywhere. Okay, let's see. Why don't we go with this one? You don't have to pick one. I just like doing that. Did I get it? I thought I did. Ever taken a view like this? Whatever. In the Crown City? Mm. No, but there weren't beasts and demons either. Nature's mm. beauty comes with danger. That's how it works in the wild. Well, the crystal and the wall work for me. No, but not without the king to uphold them. Well, that job will fall to you someday, Noct. <laughs> you think you'll be up to it? Why not? I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Maybe they could tell us how that thing works. But, uh, okay, so, we got a bunch of AP. So, yeah, let's go get that one. That's a pretty good AP generator there. And let's see. I want to get this one soon because we're going to start doing some fishing in the near future. So, that can help out quite a bit, too. But, uh, okay, so, we are here. Let's see, there are a couple quests that I want to look up here. Let me see. Okay, so... Ah, okay. Yeah, I know where I need to go. I might take a look at that valley with the blood horn there. A lot of times, what'll happen is if you've got, like, a main quest or a buff... Or not buff. um, A main quest or a hunt going on in an area, they'll remove the enemies that would otherwise normally be in that area so that you know you can fight your boss and stuff but once you're done with anything like that oh wow lots of dual horns but yeah once you've uh what was that yeah once you've cleared the hunt or the storyline progress then they'll put the normal enemies back sometimes it'll happen like really quickly like you'll defeat the hunt or boss in the hunt but then you know the enemies will respawn almost instantly the new enemies that is so sometimes you got to be careful with that come on break that horn good thing i was paying attention there i would have missed that uh what was that that parry now you notice there when i first tried using enhancement because but i couldn't do that there because uh what was it? ignis was probably in the middle of an attack animation or something so sometimes what i'll do is i'll do like a a dodge roll or something and then try to use the technique again and sometimes that'll clear things up there how did I get an AP? Oh, I killed the the dual horn I was fighting. I, I knew that. I meant to do that. 
Oh, yeah, I'm out of uh, spells. Hmm. Let me see. Do I have enough energy? Hmm. Yeah, I'll wait until I get a little more on that. Ha-ha! There you go. Oh, that is just so satisfying. It's like the... What is it? In World of Warcraft, a warrior job class has... Execute. That just sounds like it hurts so much. But it's so satisfying. I love it. What do you mean, Prompto, wake up? He's quite clearly awake. I mean, he's taking pictures and all that, but... I never really understood what uh, Gladio means by that when he's talking to Prompto there. Oh yeah, I already broke off that horn. Okay, whoop. Okay, we can go around. Or we could just get some more pictures while we're at it. Why not? Yeah, usually I don't see these guys in quite this large group. But it's a great opportunity to get some more AP if I can. Okay, so... Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah, you see how I left the combat area there? Because I just got, like, right on the edge there. So that resets your uh, tech bar there to nothing. Although I think I was pretty close to nothing in the first place anyway. Okay, that guy really doesn't want me to get behind him. That's fine. Uh, let's see, I thought... Yes, there... Uh, game? There's a warp point there, isn't there? Okay, uh... Don't worry about me. I would like to be able to use the warp point. There you go. Hmm, that one's pretty fickle. That's crossing the line. Okay, uh, yeah, my buff is worn off. So, yeah, let's get that going there. Okay, let's try that again, pal. Whoa! Going into pissy boss mode! A lot of times when I see an enemy doing that, like, they're just flailing around with their legs and horns or whatever they got, I'll just... Uh, what is it? Use a technique... So that I'm doing something useful. Haha! -ha! There you go. Let's try that one again, pal. I'm trying to initiate. Uh, there you go. Link strike. There you go. It's history now. Okay. And how are we looking on AP? Okay. Yeah, we'll get enough AP long before we actually start doing some fishing. Well, maybe not long before, but long enough. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm surprised I nailed that uh, map point so closely. Hey, how's it going? Oh, thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. Well, you could start by putting it on the road. Don't you guys have cell phones? You know, you call for a tow or something, but, uh, well, fortunately, we got a repair kit. What a relief. Thank you. Ooh, that couldn't have gone any better. But, all right. Yeah, a little more experience. Nothing extraordinary that you ever get out of these quests. They're really just filler in the game. Nothing extraordinary about them. But, well, they're a decent source of experience and money, at least early in the game. Later in the game, not so much. But where do we go first with our card that just got fixed? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.